गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी ए लाइव प्रोसीजर ऑफ पिक्टेल कैथिटराइजेशन इन केस ऑफ प्यूल इफ्यूजन सो दिस इज अवर पिक्टेल कैथिटर यू कैन सी दिस इज सिक्सटीन फ्रेंच सो वी विल ओपन इट एंड वी विल सी वाट इज देयर इन साइड दिस सेल so you can see there are three things inside this set one is trocar another is pictel catheter another is connector which connect pictel catheter to icd bag so we will see pictel so this is pictel and you can see this is hollow tube which help in straighten this tube like this like this so this is head by which icd bag connects this is hollow tube and this is tip this is trocar it also covered by a hollow tube so it will not injure the physician and we will insert inside this tube like this and we will remove this hollow tube so now you can see now we are going to tight screw so once you will tight the screw this tip will come out can you see this tip so this tip is used to pierce subcutaneous tissue muscle and pleura and goes inside the pleural cavity once it goes inside the pleural cavity we will lose the screw once we will lose the screw you can see the tip goes inside once we will remove catheter slowly can you see this tip once we are removing this can you see this tip is getting coiled so we will remove this one so this used to coil like a tail of animal pig that's why it is called pig tail catheter so what the use of this uh, coiling once it will go inside the pleural cavity it will approximate against this ribs suppose this is ribs it will uh, approximate against this ribs so it will not come out see it is not come out so this is the use of pictel so this is that's all about pictel catheter now we will see lab procedure in a patient so this is our case 47 year old female she came with right side massive pleural effusion and this was diagnosed case of malignancy so we have decided to insert pictel catheter instead of conventional ictd so it was massive pleural effusion so there is no need to see in ultrasound but if you have facility of ultrasound you have to see in ultrasound to rule out loculations and to see maximum site for fluid collection so in ultrasound you can see this liver and this is c shaped diaphragm in extreme left side towards right side there is hypoechoic area that is fluid there is no septations and you can see collapsed lung this fish like structure so this is our ideal site for pictel insertion we will mark it by a needle cap so this is needle cap i'll mark it can you zoom it to show yes so this is our site for pictel insertion now we will sterilize this area in three phase first by spirit then 10% betadine then again with spirit and we have to sterilize from surgical side to shoulder and downwards surgical side to pelvis because we have to maintain sterility otherwise it will cause empyema and other surgical side infections now we will take one dry cotton and wipe it out from inward to outward so we should not contaminate our surgical site to prevent infections now we will take cut sheet with hole in between so we will expose our surgical site only just to expose our mark site can you show mark site 
so this is our surgical site now we will give local anesthesia this is 1% jalocaine mixed with adenaline so we will give skin infiltration then subcutaneous tissue muscle and we have to give lot of jalocaine in pleural area because petal pleura is more sensitive part in lung structure so in this lady we are going to give around 20 ml of jalocaine because this is thick lady so we are going centimeter by centimeter inside and we have to see by aspirating now you can see we have reached in pleura so we will aspirate it so this is fluid so this is hemorrhagic fluid it means our site is correct site there is no doubt in that we have to wait for 30 second to 1 minute by the time local anesthesia will take time we will see our pictal catheter so this is pictal catheter can you see this hole on the tail so we will straighten by this tube which is there with pictal catheter this is trocar this is very sharp so make sure not to injure yourself or your staff so now we will tighten the screw and you can see this tip and this tip is enough to pierce subcutaneous tissue muscle and pleura now we will take surgical blade and first we will check whether pain sensation is there or not so there is no pain so we will give skin incision only that is 3 to 5 mm only which is width of our pectal catheter we will not go deeper so we will hold our pigtail by a pen like pen and this tip is enough so we will insert tip and we will press hard because it has to pierce muscle so we have to press hard until there is feeling of giveaway now giveaway feeling is there then we will uh, lose the screw so the tip would have gone inside we will insert little more we will remove trocar inch by inch so now we will remove trocar and we will take one syringe and see whether fluid is coming freely or not so there is fluid with air so means the tip is not inside so we will insert pigtail further inside and we will see whether free fluid is coming or not so air is there it means that uh, hole in the pigtail is just outside so still there is little air is coming now we will insert inside now free fluid is coming so it means the coiling of pigtail is inside the pleural cavity we will confirm again so there is free fluid now we will withdraw little until there is resistance resistance means the tip of pigtail is just approximate ribs yes this is resistance so we will insert one centimeter inside we will check again so this is free fluid so this is our pigtail catheter correct size now we will remove this cut sheet for dressing purpose for dressing we will take one gauze piece with little bit adin only so this is betadin soaked gauze we will wrap around the pigtail catheter so there is no need to do much dressing only little dressing is sufficient there is no need to give suture also because surgical site is just 3 to 5 mm and the tip has coiled so it will not come out so there is no need for suturing the wound so this is our dinoplast so we are going to stick four dinoplast one from downwards and one from upwards another one and you can see this middle part will fix the tube so tube will not come out now we will connect icd back to pictal catheter by a connector which was given with this set
so this is connector with icd bag now we will check whether our tube is functioning or not by seeing icd bag so we will ask patient to cuff can you see a fluid fluid is bubbling by cuffing and you can see column movement ask patient to cuff yes so there is bubbles it means our icd is functioning and this is post operative x ray after 24 hours so you can see there is correct site for pectal catheter thanks to sonam and miraj our technician for assisting this procedure and making video if you really like this video please share with your friends and write me in comment box if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe it thank you very much